Keeping in mind that your edge transport server is on the perimeter network or DMZ and that the server is not part of your Active Directory domain, what you need to do first is install either the Active Directory application mode, Atom for short, directory service on servers running 2003 or you have to install the Active Directory lightweight directory services on a server running 2008. In a previous clip we showed you the command you would type to do this from the command line interface. Here, let's jump into Server Manager to do it through the GUI. Remember, in addition to this, we need to install the other prerequisites for an Exchange server, like PowerShell. So we'll click the little Server Manager shortcut from the Quick Launch toolbar, and we'll click Roles, and then select Add Roles, and we'll locate the Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services role, and we'll click the checkbox, and then click Next. And once you have that installed, you might think, well, I'll just go right into the installation. But before you do that, because the Edge Transport server is on the perimeter, you're going to want to configure the DNS suffix for the server through the system properties, and you should configure your internal network connection to use two internal DNS servers. On the internal network, you'll want to create an A host record on a DNS server that points towards the Edge Transport server, so this ensures that two-way communication can take place. The Edge Transport Server can talk to the Hub Transport Server and vice versa. Once that's done, then you want to perform the installation. Now it's a custom installation, so we're going to select Custom and then we'll select Edge and you'll notice that all the other options are grayed out and the installation proceeds. Once complete, the Exchange Management Console shows you that you only have the ability to configure the Edge Transport Server here, as opposed to a typical installation where you see several roles installed at once. In this case, we only have the Edge Transport Server. So you might want to follow the steps shown here to finalize deployment, one of them being subscribing the Edge Transport Server, which we will discuss in the next clip.